everybody, I'm Suzanne Richway and this is Let Us Eat. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, look for that subscribe button and smash on it. And don't forget to tap on that bell. This is going to be a different type of cleaning video today. Twice a week, I bring you my cleaning videos. Mondays and Wednesdays, we have a get it all done. And we have Monday motivation. Now, I don't have to clean every day because I do those two big cleans twice a week. Then we do things that are every other day and then things that are every other week. I don't have a necessarily set schedule for my cleaning. Within this video, we're gonna get more in depth with what I do on a daily basis to have downtime in between the cleans. Let's get cleaning. You are a regular here. This is my TV room, part of the great room. And it's nice and clean. Floors were swept and they were mopped yesterday. And I swept the first thing this morning I went through once I had my coffee. I dust probably less than I should. Should be once a month or twice a month as needed. My baseboards, when I mop, I clean them. I have some mail going out to some winners. The tea, this is the dining area. And I keep the table clear all the time. The mail will be going out soon. It's going to some winners. Laundry is done every other day. And we stay on top of it. I do have some to fold, but I'm going to wait until tomorrow's laundry is done so the basket is full. And then my critter over here, I clean her just about every day. It all depends on how wet the cage gets. She knocks into her water bottle. She's a senior gerbil, and I think she's losing her eyesight. Certain things I clean more often, like the pantry shelves. I take 15 minutes out of my day if they need them, and I declutter. The bathroom. I do just the sink and the toilet on camera, if you are new. And I just did them yesterday and then this morning, I wiped them down with a disinfectant wipe in the toilet seat area. And I keep them spick and span. They are very old. Trash cans can be dumped out as needed. These are just some of the things that I do on a regular basis to keep my home clean and organized. Recently touched up my freezer. This is our freezer. It was given to us by my husband's mom. It is not self-defrosting. It is a very old one and it is organized. And I have an itemized list of what's in it so I know what I need to buy to stay on budget. So some daily things that I do every day to keep my home clean is sweep the floors, make beds. My children make their own beds. I have a little hidden area where I put the blanket and pillow during the day, tidy up the couch. I make sure the table is cleared off for our meals. The kitchen is kept clean throughout the day. It is a daily task, but it's a multiple times a day task. Every meal, there's a cleanup. Every snack, there's a cleanup. And sometimes sweeping can be multiple times a day as well. And I stay on top of it to keep the house clean. My home was not always like this. It used to be stuffed with stuff and packed from the surface to the ceiling. I mean, just really bad. And five years ago, I started decluttering. I posted a while back before and after pictures of what some of the rooms looked like before I started taking notes and documenting and sharing to Facebook. And then two years ago, I started this channel to help me stay in focus and create some kind of routine. I don't like to schedule things or write things down. Certain things like food shopping and pantry items, I keep written down, but 
to brainstorm for the channel. I see something I want to do, I get up and do it. I've been getting more diligent about writing things down. I've wrote down five video ideas that I'm going to be filming this weekend and throughout next week to bring to you guys. With that said, the channel has really helped me have a routine where I do a ton of stuff on a Monday and a ton of stuff on a Wednesday. Then Tuesdays and Thursdays I have downtime where I just do light stuff. I'll wipe up the bathroom as I mentioned. I'll sweep up the floor, fold some laundry, take care of Jacqueline's room if needed. Jacqueline can be a very messy child and I help her keep her room clean and in check. I can't get into my teen's room until they start their work program or they happen to be gone for an afternoon. Then I'll go in there and I'll do a cleaning video for you all of cleaning your teen's room while they're not here. So there's another idea. Now I have six videos to bring to you. Staying on topic, I'll get into their room and I'll do a sweep, a mop, strip the bed if needed. Anything that's not put away, gets put away in the closet in the drawers, dump out the garbage can, and dust to take care of the room and have it nice and inviting for when they come home. Here's an example of something that's not done on a daily or weekly basis, but we do it Every two to three months, we wash the shower curtains. We take them down completely, and I throw them into the laundry. And uh, something else that I do it every two to three months is I do a deep clean in here, and I wash down the cube and keep it clean. But the decluttering part, a couple times a week, if I see it looking out of hand, I come in and I tidy it up. This is my kitchen. Every day I keep the floors swept, the trash will go out as needed, and I keep my sink clean in between meals. Dishes get put away daily, and I keep the countertops clean on a daily basis as well as the coffee area and the stove top. I also clean my microwave every other day to keep it clean because it's touched quite frequently. It's a high traffic area within my home. I do twice a month, recently done, took everything out, those choppy mats, I washed them in hot soapy water, and washed the shelves, and I keep it organized. I'm going to put that container at the bottom into the freezer so it doesn't go bad. Always check your leftovers, if they've been in there for more than a day, put them in your freezer, and then write what's on them with the date, you freeze them and then put them onto your meal plan so you eat them. I just wrote down the date on the lid here. 7, 1, and it's sauce. I'm going to put it into the freezer. I'm planned already through the 31st of July for our dinners, and I only meal plan dinners. This can go on to next month's rotation meal plan for our Italian night. We do theme nights with a rotation system, and meal planning should be a part of your cleaning endeavor to keep your home running smoothly so you always know what's for dinner and people aren't going to be constantly asking you. Being diligent with your cleaning tasks and staying on top of them will help you create your own schedule that you feel comfortable with to keep your home looking good and in shape. I'm responsible for the internal part of the home. We rent. There's no yard or anything. My husband takes care of his car and the back bedroom because he works from home there during the day and watches TV there at night. So I can't really go in there to clean because he works with sensitive materials. The rest of the house I'm responsible for. And I help my tween out when they need it. And my teen keeps a very clean room because I taught them well. I stay on top of everything and I declutter two, three times a week to keep everything in check. Some things I do every other day, I mention laundry. I mop every other day. I clean the toilet every other day and wipe it down in between cleans. I have the thousand flushes in it to help keep it clean in between cleanings as well as a little Lysol stick that deodorizes and disinfects and when it's done it just gets dissolved into the toilet and biodegrades. 
it's wonderful. The Dollar Tree carries them, usually in the back with all the sprays and the cleaning wipes. Check the cleaning area. It says Lysol on it, and it has a little clip on it, and they're usually blue. And then the drop-ins by scrubbing bubbles, the Dollar Tree carries them. The generic brands from Dollar Tree aren't that great, so I would steer clear of them, especially the three-packs. They are the thing not to buy from the Dollar Tree, a two thumbs down. Other things that I do every other day, I take care of things from the freezer, thaw for dinner that following night. I let it freeze naturally in my freezer up to two days. Sometimes I forget and I put it on the countertop on a plate. That's okay. Every day I wash my countertops with hot soapy water. A couple of times a week I have a surface cleaner from the Dollar Tree by Comet that I do my countertops with. Another thing that you should do a couple of times a week is your dish drain if you don't have a dishwasher. If you have a dishwasher, you can clean it every three to six months. They have a cleaning cycle on the dishwasher to do a self-cleaning. You'll have to read up on that. I've never had a dishwasher. If we have one on vacation, that's that. The dish physically inside the microwave, that gets cleaned twice a week. Um, things that get cleaned on a three to six month basis my plungers, the toilet brushes, the shower curtains, as I mentioned. I have a flat, not an actual whole house. So it's a lot easier for me to maintain how I do things. Since I started this channel, I am so happy that I have my routine to do a full cleaning day on Mondays and Wednesdays to help you guys get motivated. All the wonderful comments, uh, thank you so much for them. You are an inspiration to me as well to help me stay focused to keep you on point and get your home in shape. These ideas I have for you in this video on what to do daily, multiple times a day, what to do every other day or every three to six months, I hope will help you. We have no linen closet here so i don't have extra sheets but we do our bed sheets every other week so that would be another way i stay on top of my cleaning by making sure the bed sheets get done we try not to do it all in one day and i like to have my laundry done before one o'clock in the afternoon or if i have to do it in the evening i start it after 6 p.m because one to six are high times and the energy that's cost more to use. I don't have any place to have a clothesline, but I can hang dry certain things and that will help reduce energy. And I try to use low heat whenever I can in my dryer to help reduce the cost. And I got a dryer ball from the Dollar Tree. They come in a two pack. Dollar General also carries them. Or if you can't find them, a tennis ball will also work. That's going to help you save money by not having to buy fabric cloth or sheets. They'll help, they help reduce the static and everything. And we like to stay on top of the laundry and the every other day laundry system for a family of four works really well for us we have laundry videos and our clean with me players list so please check that out for this video thank you for hanging out with me today as i talk to you about how i maintain and created my cleaning schedule to stay on point to help motivate you to get your home clean and on your own schedule these are all great points that i brought up that you can adapt into your home to keep your home clean and organized and running smoothly. If you're new, don't forget to smash on that subscribe button and tap on that bell. When we get 18 more people, we're going to give out one five items prize pack from the Dollar Tree valued at $625. When we get to 1700 we're going to issue out two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards. We just got over 1600 and If you have not announced a winner yet, we will soon. Just be patient. The rules are, if you're new, you must comment so I know that you're here, so you have a chance to have your name called. You need to be subscribed to the U.S. residents. If you won in the past 60 days and you're not qualified, those are for winners only. If you won and your name is called and you don't answer in two days, you'll be disqualified. If it, something urgent happened, and email me and let me know. Countryboots1268yahoo.com. Thank you for watching.